Cedar Rapids tonight. KWWL's Justin Andrews is live tonight in Cedar Rapids. Very funny guy, obviously uh, something going on to cause this. Yeah, Ron, you definitely can't deny that one. I caught up with a few people here in downtown Cedar Rapids. They say Williams was a pioneer and the comedy world won't be the same. Well, Mrs. Doubtfire is a great movie. I love the whole Aladdin series. Mrs. Doubtfire was also a really awesome movie. He's a comedian known for starring in major roles in classic comedies. The Oscar-winning actor's death is hitting home for former stand-up comedian Leslie Charper. I also used to do stand-up comedy, so... Um, you know, he's sort of our god in stand-up comedy. Charper and her cast are practicing for an upcoming act at Theater Cedar Rapids, and while they're reading their scripts, William's death is fresh on their minds. The idea that somebody like Robin Williams, who was a uh, pioneer, really, in stand-up and in character work, and then ultimately became a really amazing actor. It's a terrible loss, I think. The doors here at Penguin's Comedy Club are locked, but it's not because actor Robin Williams passed away. I spoke with a few people here in downtown Cedar Rapids. They tell me Williams put a lock on comedy. Comedy is still going to do good because he left his mark on it, but it will be sad because his personal style is going to be gone. He's the guy that sort of taught everybody how to um, riff, how to deal with a heckler. The actor known for his rapid fire comedy will be remembered not only in the arts, but simply as the guy that was so darn funny. I mean, it's really tragic because he's so funny. Now in his early years, Williams studied political science before switching to theater. Now Williams had just turned 63 less than a month ago. We've got you covered live outside of theater Cedar Rapids tonight. I'm Justin Andrews, KWWL News. Now, now